Well, welcome back again, everyone. Today I'm reviewing another uh, cigar from the King Cigars out of Pompano Beach, Florida. This is the Conde, and this is the Churchill, the 7x52. There's the band of the Conde. If you will remember back in August, I can tell you exactly when it was. August 24th, I reviewed the King of Kings from King Cigars, the Quadrado. 6x64 uh, sampling and it scored a nice 91. Now today we are going with the uh, Condi and as I said this is 7x52 seven by, uh, seven by it has a San Andreas wrapper obviously it's a dark Maduro uh, a Habano Carrillo binder and a King's proprietary filler. Don't really know much more than that. Um, the cigar is well made, has a nice oily shine to the wrapper as you can see, and uh, quite long. So uh, I'm anxious to try this to see how this stacks up, maybe against the uh, King of Kings, but uh, this is a different blend. So let's get right to it. All right, this is a nice size cigar. I like these longer Churchills like this, and 52 is a good ring gauge. Now let's take off just the minimum, the least we can from the cap. Oh yes. Pretty much an effortless draw. There's what we took off. Right away, I got a lot of sweet notes of, uh, of, of dark chocolate and cedar. A very sweet cedar, very sweet with some richness, some dark chocolate notes, coffee notes, really sweet start. Pepper up around a seven and a half. Tap dancing on an eight. Very nice start right out of the gate. As you can see, I took no time in, in, uh, in getting those initial flavors. Uh, some cigars take a minute or two. This one was right away, so that's a good start. I hope it uh, continues that way. Let's, uh, let's see where we go from here. I guess I'm about a half inch in. I just wanted to come back and update you that the initial assessment was pretty much dead on. I would add a little tanginess also to that very sweet, rich cedar. It's a little tanginess there. It's very nice. Uh, the pepper is indeed, I would give it an eight. And there are those uh, uh, dark chocolate and coffee notes. The cigar is very much medium bodied very uh, early in the game here and it has great flavors at least to me it is very nice and sweet and peppery speaking of uh, peppery the pepper and it's black pepper it is there is a ton of black pepper lingering as i speak on my palate the finish is a very sweet cream with just a little bit of toastiness to it i wouldn't call it a toasted cream it's a very sweet cream with a little toastiness to it. It's a little less than I'd call a toasted cream. Very nice though and very long pleasing. So the Conde is really starting out strong. Very good flavors initially. I hope they continue if if any if, if by any chance maybe they'll improve but it's very nice at this point. about an inch and a quarter in plus or minus and the flavors are about the same but uh, that very sweet rich cedar has a little sprinkling of cinnamon in it now you can really taste it also there are some charred oak notes that are very faint but they're there you still have your dark chocolate notes and uh, they really help with some of the sweetness actually and the uh, coffee notes 
Uh, the pepper remains amazing, especially on the finish. I just love that lingering black pepper and the, and the long sweet cream finish with just a hint of toastiness. So, uh, big change here, or a change, was the addition of the cinnamon and the uh, charred oak notes. Now, they're faint, but they are there. But uh, still a very tasty cigar. Well, I'm about three inches in, and the uh, dark chocolate notes have really tailed off. The uh, charred oak notes have really elevated, come a little more forward, and the coffee is holding the base. And it is not overly obvious, but the coffee is the base. Now, the front end flavors that we spoke about before that were very sweet are still amazingly good. Um, nice, sweet cedar cinnamon combination, a little richness there. The richness may have tailed off just a tad, but not enough to hurt anything. Pepper remains very good, finish is consistent. So uh, the only real change is those dark chocolate notes have really gone away. But the uh, charred oak notes have taken its place and doing a very fine job. right before the band and everything is about the same every once in a while I'm getting little flashes of black cherry uh, mixed in with that cedar and cinnamon it's a real sweet little brief moment of black cherry very nice the flavors continue to be very good everything is about on par with, with the last uh, report but uh, I would call the cigar maybe now ticked up to medium to full bodied. But the flavors are really nice. Really nice. Uh, I'm enjoying the cigar a lot. So uh, let's see where we go from here, but it is really nice. Well, I'm here at the end, so let's wrap it up. I kept waiting for this cigar to tail off, thinking that this massive Churchill of seven and a half inches and the great flavors couldn't possibly hold them to the end, but it did. It took about an hour and 45 minutes to get here. The great sweet cedar and cinnamon combination continued through the end. Lost just a touch of richness, but not a lot. The charred oak notes and coffee notes gave it a great base. The pepper remained very good in an eight. Sustained that throughout the cigar. The finish was amazing. Long, sweet cream finish with just a touch of toastiness and great, massive amounts of lingering black pepper. Just fantastic. Cigar did reach full bodied about two inches ago. He gradually built and he got to the full bodied status. Not a lot of negatives to say about this cigar. King Cigars has a great cigar here and I have absolutely enjoyed it. It's the only one I had to judge from, but based on this cigar, it is really, really good. I can only imagine how good a Robusto would be. All those flavors packed into a short cigar must be fantastic. So in a nutshell, there you have it. The King Cigars Conde Churchill 95.